Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolp. Today, we're not going to have any helmets. I know, I know. A little upsetting. But, you know, a lot of things going on. So, I wanted to get my picks out there. I also want to make a big announcement about the final week, week 17 of the NFL schedule. This is week 16 that we're going over now. But week 17, I intend to bring all of the guests that I've had, and by all I mean all three, guests that I've had on my show over the past uh, season, Chris Dufour, my brother Jim, and Dave Mazzini, all four of us are going to do the season finale, all of us doing our picks, week 17. That's the plan. If you don't see one of them, it means something happened and they couldn't attend. Here and there, no matter how cruelly I beg you, do not open this door. If you only see me, it means all three of them could not attend and could not do it. But the plan is for all three of them to be on and that's going to make for, you know, a nice probably 40 to 45 minute video talking about football picks. And hey, what would you rather watch? That or whatever else. So, that's the plan for week 17. But let's talk about what happened in week 16. Week 16, I was 10 and 6. I needed to go 11 and 5 to get over the 600 mark. But I just went 10 and 6. But I went 10 and 6 considering that the Jets somehow managed to win a game. Let me see here. The Jets managed to somehow win a game. And um, the uh, and also the Bengals managed to beat the Steelers. Say what? So those are a couple of things that I mean nobody plans on. Nobody. So um, yeah, if, if I mean you figure if I got those two right, I would have been what would I have been like? 12 and 4. 12 and 4, man. I could have been 12 and 4. But no, I was 10 and 6 because the Jets and the Bengals decided they wanted to win in the same week. Who could have seen that coming? So, uh, yeah. And on the year, that puts me at 133 and 89, which is a 599 winning percentage. In fact, it's 5990. Missed it by that much. <laughs> so it's a solid 59.9. Now, if I go 10 and 6 every week for the last two weeks, I'm going to be over 600. Because 10 and 6 alone is over 600. So, um, but I'm probably got to go 10 and 6, 10 and 6, or better. We'll see. But, um, this week, we have a game on Christmas Day. On Friday, December 25th, we got the Vikings at the Saints. And in that game, I am going to go with the Saints. I think the Saints are going to win this one. The Vikings, not only could they not beat the Bears last week, and let's admit it, the Bears this year, not that great. But the Saints... Um, as, um, I mean, the, the last week was the first week that Br Breeze came back off of his injury. And at the start of the game, he looked rusty. In fact, in I think in the first half, he was only like 40% passing or something like that. Um, so he was really rusty in the first half. But as he played, he got more accustomed to playing with the flak jacket on, taking the hits. And the Saints mounted a comeback, and they fell short. But I think now you can plan on, you know, Breeze with a full week of practice 
after having gone through a game, after taking the hits, after playing with the flak jacket and getting used to it, I think we can plan on more of the uh, the old Drew Brees in this game. And if the old Drew Brees shows up, there's no way the Vikings are beating them. So that's I got the Viking or I got the Saints in that game. Um, then there's three Saturday games, the day after Christmas. Boxing Day, I guess it is in Canada. Buccaneers at Lions. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. I don't think it takes Einstein to figure out that the Lions are having a very tough year. And um, it, it shouldn't get any better with the Buccaneers. Now, of course, the Buccaneers, they have their own issues. Because you have the... Bruce Arians game plan and then you have the Tom Brady game plan. Last week they played the, the Bruce Arians game plan in the first half and it looked like they were going to lose the game. Then they came out in the second half and they did the Tom Brady game plan and they came back and they won. So let's hope that uh, Bruce Arians is smart enough to know that um, he should go with the Tom Brady game plan. Or at least the Tom Brady smart enough to know that he's just going to do that anyway, and uh, and then you know, and beat the uh, and beat the line. Of course, you know. Now again, it's not like it really takes a genius game plan to beat the Lions, but let's let's hope they they bring it anyway. The next game you got is the 49ers at the Cardinals. The Cardinals are a team that's been um, perplexing to say the least. They look like they've got everything that they should be ready to go, that they should, you know, steamroller their opponents, that they have the talent, a very talented football team, and yet they seem to play uh, just well enough some weeks to win, and then some weeks lose games that there's no way they should have lost. So... We'll see how that goes. Um, the 49ers, but see, the 49ers have been inconsistent, too. The 49ers, one week they look like the 49ers of last year. And then some weeks they look like the Jets. So, you know, I gotta, I've got to believe that the Cardinals want to put their best foot forward. They want to win this game. They want to get this win in the books. And they are better than the 49ers right now. So they should win that. Dolphins at the Raiders. I'm going with the Dolphins. I mean, the Raiders have, you know, I mean, they, they blew a game last week against the Chargers. That not only they should have won, but it shouldn't have even been as close as it was. It went to overtime, and they lost 30-27 to in OT. That should probably never have happened. So what we're going to say is that the Dolphins are going to win because the Dolphins are, I mean, they're, they're looking for the playoffs. I mean, obviously, they look like they're a playoff team, and they play a lot of weeks, week in and week out, like a playoff team. They beat the Patriots last week, even though all of the talk surrounding the game was Bill Belichick knows how to rattle rookie quarterbacks. Well, maybe he did early on, but he didn't for the entire 60-minute game. So go with the Dolphins there. Uh, then you got the Sunday games, the Sunday slate. And the first one is the Giants at the Ravens. I'm going to go with the Ravens. I mean, I think the Ravens have found their footing. It might be a little too late. They're still on the outside looking in. They have to win the rest of their games, and then they still need a little help from various teams. Like the Steelers, who they're getting it from. But, um, they, um, uh, they, they, looked, uh, they looked good last week, though, against the Jaguars. A lot of teams do, but they certainly did. So, and, and they know they've got to win. Every week they know they got to win, and they're at home. So I'm taking them over the Giants, for sure. Next one, you got the Falcons at the Chiefs. I'm going to take the Chiefs. I don't know anybody out there. Leave it in the comments if you're, if you're taking the Falcons. But, you know, even if you live in Atlanta... And you're a lifelong Falcons fan. You're probably not taking the Falcons. The next one we got is the Panthers at the Washington football team. And you know what? 
I'm going in this one with the Washington football team. They're playing good ball in their last three games. They've only allowed an average of 17 points, and they've beaten the Steelers and the 49ers, and they barely lost to the Seahawks. So, yeah, go with the Washington football team to, uh, to beat the Panthers. The next one you got is the Browns at the Jets. Now, despite the fact that the Jets got a hair up their butt and decided to win a game, I don't see that being uh, what they're going to do against the Browns. Um, especially since you can believe, if I was the Browns head coach, I don't even know all the technical ins and outs about football, but if I was the Browns head coach, the very first thing I would be saying is, remember last week. Because, uh, the Rams certainly do. And, uh, you know, and then just point out to them, if they can beat the Rams, they can beat us if we take, if we don't take them seriously. So, yeah. And the Browns, they put up a lot of points. They've been putting up a lot of points lately. I expect that they're going to beat the Jets easily. Bears at the Jags. Bears at the Jags. I'm taking the Bears. Uh, the Jaguars, they were dismantled last week by the, uh, by the uh, Baltimore Ravens. No, they're not going to beat the Bears. The Bears have been inconsistent this year, and they have not been the greatest team, even in some games that they've won, but they should beat the Jaguars. Next one you got is the Bengals at the Texans. I'm going to go with the Bengals. I just got a feeling on this. They came off a big win against the Steelers. A 10-point win against the Steelers. So I, uh, I just got a feeling about that. And the Texans, who knows? You know, I mean, again, they, they have one player on offense and one player on defense. And that's it. So I don't see them beating the Bengals. I don't see it. I think if the Bengals play like they did against the Steelers, coming off that big win, pumped, anything can happen. And you got the Colts at the Steelers. Who are you going to take? All right, I'm taking the Steelers. I'm going with the Steelers, I admit it. I got, I, And I have no reason to go with the Steelers because they've lost the last two weeks in a row to teams they should have beaten. But, um, and, the, and the Colts have a strong defense. But, I think Mike Tomlin's going to have them ready for this one. The, uh, the Colts, they play close games against everybody. Everybody. They got this great defense, supposedly, but they still play close games against every single team they play. And I don't think that that plays into their um, best interest if they play the Steelers. Next one, you got Broncos at the Chargers. I'm going to go with the Chargers. You got Herbert. He's having a great year for a rookie quarterback. And, uh, you know, the Broncos are just having a bad year all the way around. Don't see it happening. Eagles at the Cowboys. You know, Jalen Hurts has those boys playing good now. They have him playing, he has them playing good football, and I think he's got what it takes to beat the Cowboys. He almost had what it took to bring them back last week against the Cardinals. And that's the Cardinals, a better team than the Cowboys. So yeah, look for Jalen to hurt the Cowboys next week. Rams at the Seahawks. I'm going with the Seahawks. I'm just going with the Seahawks. All I needed to see is you lost to a team that hadn't won a game and is rudderless and doesn't know where they're going. You lost to a team like that. You aren't beating the Seahawks. I, I, and if they do, McVay would have to answer some serious questions from ownership, from everybody that's his boss. Why do you lose to a team with no wins and then you go into Seattle and beat Seattle. No, that's not happening. There's no planet on which that should happen. 
If you can't beat the Jets, you can't beat the Seahawks. If you can't beat the Jets, you can't beat Vestal High School. So, yeah, I am not picking the Rams. There's no way after that debacle last week. So now you got the Titans and the Packers. I'm going with the Packers. The Packers are just, they're just steamrolling everybody. So, um, yeah, go with the Packers. The Titans ain't going to beat them. The Titans are good. Titans got a good ball club. They got, you know, Derrick Henry. They got a decent defense. Again, you know, they got Tannehill running that offense. He's running it like a well-oiled machine, but he's going up against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. I don't like his odds. Um, in Green Bay, no less. So, And then you got the Bills and the Patriots. Again, if I had a little Einstein bobblehead, I would bring him out right now. You don't. It doesn't take Einstein to figure out the Bills are going to beat the Patriots. So you know because the Patriots, they, you know, they they didn't beat the Dolphins last week, and they, you know, and you know, what's his name, Jake Allen or whatever the guy's name is. No, that's the goalie for the uh, backup goalie for the Montreal. Canadians, but uh, whoever, whatever that guy's name is, the quarterback for the Bills, um, and yes, I did murder it, Mr. Tom Bunch, yeah, I don't know his name, so shoot me, but anyway, there's no way that that guy's going to get rattled by the Patriots, the way they've been playing, so those are my picks, how do you like them, do you agree with me, you think I'm going to get 10, you think I can pull down a 10, if I pull down a 10 this week, then I go over 600. And then week 17 might just be the other three guys making picks while I watch and applaud because I'm going to take my 600. You know, I'm not like Ted Williams. I will sit down with a 400 batting average. So, <laughs> all right, maybe not. But, <laughs> but as, as, as Chris Dufour pointed out to me, it's always tough week 17 because a lot of teams, they know that they're going to the playoffs. Some of them are locked into the position that, they're, that they are presently in and they can't move up. And in some cases, moving up doesn't really get them anything except maybe home field. But, you know, they don't get a week off or whatever. So, you know, and then you've got the other teams that know they're not going to the playoffs. And... Uh, so what do they do? Well, you know, they don't play their especially hardest because why? We're not going to the playoffs. So yeah, week 17 is a tough one to call. I'll play that one by ear, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be picking on week 17. No, I will. I'm going to be picking on week 17. But, um, but let's hope I'm over 600, like well over 600. Let's hope for another 13 and 3 week. But uh, that's what I got. Let me know. Comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I've actually lost subscribers. This is crazy. Sportsman Z does not lose subscribers. So yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're watching this and you like it. It's gonna happen every year. I'm gonna have video. I'm gonna have my picks videos up every year. It's gonna happen. So just do it. All right. So that's it for me. Look for the big bonanza. The big finale next week, um, season finale, week 17, with all of the past guests that I've had on the channel doing a big pick video. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.